All right, so I just got myself a new MacBook Air. Um, it's a 13 inch, and I want to transfer all my data from my 2011 uh, MacBook Pro, um, which is to the right here, over to it the quickest way possible because I don't like waiting. So I also ordered myself a two meter Thunderbolt cable. I mean, the length doesn't matter, but pretty much it allows you to use the 10 gigabit uh, transfer speed. I mean, the hard drive on the Mac can't go that fast, but the interface between the two Macs will be 10 gigabit. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, and do that transfer now. Um, I just started up the Mac right out of the box kind of thing, put in my wireless password through the setup process, and now it's asking me um, if I want to transfer my information to the Mac. So I definitely want to go ahead and transfer it from another Mac. So I continue on that option. And right now it's going to sit there looking for a disk to... Uh, to get the data from. So on my old Mac, what I'm going to do, um, I already have the Thunderbolt cable plugged in between the two Macs. I'm going to power on the old Mac and hold down the T button, uh, which will basically allow the new Mac to read the disk. Puts it in target disk mode, as you can see on the screen. And uh, now we just have to wait for the my new Retina to detect the hard drive. So pretty much my Mac, my old Mac, is now an external hard drive. And if we just look at the screen there, uh, we shall see what happens. Let me take a minute for it to detect. So, I, I mean, I forgot to hit continue, but it's already detected the Macintosh hard drive. So I'll just see uh, what it does with that. Hopefully this works. I haven't tried this before. Um, so it's detected all the data on the hard disk from the other guy there. 64 gigs. I have a 250 gig SSD on the new Mac here, so let's see what it does. So it seems to have found, I mean, all the apps you saw on the page before, and uh, now it's just, I guess, going to calculate um, everything to transfer over. Now we'll wait and see. So, uh, I mean, 28 minutes for 64 gigs. Um, I'll put an annotation of how how fast that transfer speed is in a, per second, but um, we'll get back to you in a bit. All right, so basically the copy finished. The estimated time was about accurate, um, and now it wants to reboot. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, just a bit of background information on the old Mac, it had a 750 gig, 5400 RPM drive. Uh, the transfers probably took that long uh, due to the slow drive speed. I'm not sure why it's rebooting twice, but uh, hopefully that's a good thing, because as I said earlier, I've never done this before, but it uh, should work. Um, as it said in the installation, it seems like it's going to move all settings over as well, so hopefully the accounts there, everything, and uh, it works. So after the last part, it wants us to start using our Mac like the normal installation, and it's thinking. And no, I don't want to share anything with Apple. Setting up. I thought it would just set up, but apparently not. Alright, it looks like the same background that the other Mac had. And uh, everything seems to have copied over from what I can tell here. Um, yeah, same apps and everything.